Well met. This is Amber Scanning 7. And we are on Dark Souls, I'm about to say Pathfinder, Dark Souls 3. Uh, I had a little bit of audio problems, but I think it's right. I wasn't recording the game audio. Looks like the game audio probably shouldn't be as loud as me, so let's turn that down a little bit. Uh, Hopefully this is good. Uh, if you can't hear the game, I am sorry. Uh, when a viewer comes in, especially a viewer that I know, I will ask to maybe make some adjustments to see. I guess I could. Found it! Hey Neon, how's it going? Thanks for showing up. Uh, can you hear the game alright? And me, all right? It's good. Bored. Uh, it's a bit soft, but I can hear it. All right, let me see. Let me turn it up a little bit. Yeah, the, the game's not making a lot of noise right now. So... Alright. Well, thanks for showing up. Hope you enjoy Dark Souls. Uh, like I said, I don't know if you were here last time I played Dark Souls, but I'm going to do Dark Souls a little differently than my other stuff. I'm going to record uh, shorter streams. Uh, the idea is one area. You're bad at Dark Souls? Yeah. Dark Souls is not an easy game, that's for sure. How many times have you tried it, though? I mean, I completely understand if you rage quit it. I've come close to do it myself. Over here is our Grant me death. Undo my shackles. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame you. Oh. Oh, then it's true. The champion of Ash as I live and breathe. To be in your presence is a great honor. I am Yoel of London. Pilgrim, as you can see, only somehow I failed to die as was ordained. But perhaps my current strategy building is more my sleep. So yeah, champion of Ash, uh, how does the my brother got me into Dark Souls and I fell in love with him. Strike you. I was once a it's, def it's a different set of uh, skills, different mindset. It's not for everyone. Yet you have granted me purpose and new. I, Yoel of Londor, do solemnly swear. But what I'm saying is, I'm doing uh, Dark Souls and shorter episodes. Uh, like I'm going to do an area and call it an episode. So it might be an hour, it might be two hours. Uh, this is a pretty big area we're going into. But depending on how I feel, I might, you know, go to a different game, or I might not. Galito! Hey buddy, how you doing? Welcome back. We're a dark soul in today. I saw you were, well I came on earlier today and watched your stream a little bit. I saw you were on a little while ago. You have echoing voice now. Ew. Hmm. 
Uh, I'm back going. Yeah, I've been having some issues. First, it was the connection, then the game kept freezing. But other than that, I'm fine. I see you got the swing of the X Master there pretty quick. Yeah. Huh. I don't know why I would be echoing. I still only have. Let's see. No, no, no. And a big mic. It's a slight delay in reverb kind of sound. Huh. I've got the game muted. What we got? Let's see. Oh, wait. Alright, hold on. Let's see. Tell me if that fixed it. Uh, Oh, that shouldn't be me, that should be... I should keep talking so you can tell if it's me or not, huh? Instead of just shutting up and hoping you can tell by osmosis or something. Sounds good. Okay, I did have... Huh. Alright. Well, I probably should have left it alone originally. Alright, thanks. Hopefully we're good now. Let me hide this. Let me hide this. Alright, now I see the two that are... Okay. So, Grillito, have you ever played Dark Souls 3? Ah, so let's say Axe, okay. Uh, I haven't had the opportunity, but it looks very interesting. Oh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I know one of our regular viewers said they got it. I, I keep. I can't keep all y'all straight. I've got so many. Right? No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> I know somebody was going to play it. But I forget who it was. But uh, if you, well, actually, if you get on Xbox or PC, one of the things I'd love to do is to help people go through the game. Like maybe that could be something we do together. I love. I'll 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 be sure to troll you uh, as much as possible. Yeah, I'll go in there. It'd be fine. No worries. It's okay. I've learned what games trigger my interest. Yeah. So there's a little ambush over here. This guy will jump on your head if you don't come over here to fight him. But yeah, like I was telling, telling Neon, I'm, uh, it's going to be a shorter episode today because I want to do uh, the Dark Souls games in areas. So I want to finish this area and end the episode. And it depends on what I feel like, I might go to like Conan. I've been feeling, I've been feeling the call of Conan back calling to me. It is, well, it is an unspecified amount of time later. Like, a long time later. Dark Souls 3 is the, especially 
Dark Souls 3 is close to the end. Because you remember Dark Souls 1, you rekindled the flame. Uh, Dark Souls 3, you were kindling the flame for the last time. Uh, especially the last DLC is the end of all things. So, depending on your decision, your Dark Souls world either ends the cycle forever in a good way or ends the cycle forever in a bad way. Oh, I forgot to go get him. I'm going to have to go get him. So you see these guys? There's a lot of them, right? But behind them, it's exploding barrels. So give them a good old firebomb. Not quite that far. And now you've got less. But yeah, it's a different world as far as like... I mean, there's, there's a lot of callbacks. One of the reasons I love this game is there's a lot of callbacks to the first two. Mo mostly the first game. But some callbacks to the second game, too. I thought I got my shield up for that. I remember this lady here. Ah. Block, then attack. Okay. This lady here is no joke. Alright. Now, let's try this. You hit that. Oh, you tracked. Okay. You die. Now. Get that backer stabber. Let's get that backer stabber. Let's get that. Fully charged, R2. Uh, yeah. She's... She's definitely one that makes you take... Slow down and think about things. Uh, but, right here is why you want to kill her. Estus Shard. Gives you one more healing... Refillable healing item. One more time between bonfires and death that you can heal. And let's see, there's an ember over there. Yeah, her, if you're good enough to get her mace, if you're lucky enough to get her mace, her mace is really good. The thing she was beating with. Oh, there's an attack that she has. Where she slaps you with the book she's holding. And I was co oping with a couple of friends of mine. And we're chatting as we're playing. And uh, the least experienced of my friends. I just hear him start scream. We're in this area. And he just starts screaming, Stop slapping me with the Bible! Stop slapping me with the Bible! Alright, and down here, heals my favorite covenant. So now, if you notice up in the upper hand, left hand corner, I've got the little sun symbol. That means I am a brotherhood of sunlight. And the brotherhood is all about helping other players. Uh, go through the game. 
so I'll likely put, and so a way I kind of grind for souls and have fun is put my sewing sign down and hopefully get summoned and help somebody else through part of the game. Go talk to Andre, my much better in shape cousin. He looks like me, but he's in wet, way better shape. Don't attack Andre. I need to reinforce my SS flask. Yes. Okay. Uh. No. Be careful. I did recall that there was an NPC I forgot to go get in the first area. So we're going to go do that real quick. Yeah, like all the Dark Souls games though, I love the uh, giant huge weapons. Not this area, but the next area, there's an enemy that has a very low chance of dropping. One of my favorite weapons, so I will probably be off screen grinding him for a while. Uh, it's unlikely somebody will summon me here. Just because I'm probably higher level than they would be. But, who knows, maybe we'll get to kill Fort again. This game, uh, there's a lot of really, there's a lot of good items that, uh, there's boss weapons that you make from bosses souls, uh, which I'll probably be ending the stream today with getting the item to be able to make those. Uh, There's a lot of good boss weapons, and some weapons that you find, but also some that you grind. Which, unlike the other Souls games, this game actually has a luck stat. I have never, ever, ever raised it. But apparently you can raise it and have a better chance of finding stuff. Yeah. Was that rare? Well, for the item I'm going for... Did you ever play Dark Souls 1? Uh, some of the best weapons in the, both Dark Souls games, all three Dark Souls games really, are the Black Knight weapons. Well, in Dark Souls 1... The Black Knights don't respawn until the very end of the game. So you can't really farm them. If you kill them the first time, if you don't get it, you don't get it. But in this game, uh, the Black Knights do respawn. So I need to tell him... This guy, he wants to deliver this ring, and what reminded me about him was I just found uh, Loretta's bone, which is on her body, so 
see dead. Uh, but like all all the NPCs in this game actually will when well, I say all of them, all the NPCs that you uh, recruit, I should say, show up here at Firelink. Uh, no one needs strength. Well, there you go. I think that gives me the claymore. Yes. Uh. So you come here, you talk to him. Oh, hello, you're back. I'm in one piece. Well, now, whatever trinket you need, just don't ask me where. He actually becomes a fender for you. Uh, then you can give him what is bones. She was already dead. Thank you. I'm not surprised though. Almost a relief, really. You can keep the ring as well. A little trinket of thanks. I suppose. <laughs> Alright, now Goodbye. I'll come back to him later and he'll be uh, unable to talk to because he's uh, sad, his friend is dead. But you can, uh, eventually he will become a, uh, you'll like send him off to go collect things. He'll become a more valuable merchant. I'll just put it that way. And he gave me that ring, so. Which the ring's not that great. It, but since I don't have any other rings. Hello! How you doing, buddy? Welcome back. Could be better. Uh oh. Well, I'm sad to hear that. What's going on? Still sick, yeah. Well, I need to. If it's bad enough, you need to go see somebody about it. Let's see, I don't want to go this way, I don't want to go that way. This way or that way? Oh! Jolly Cooperation first. What's the plan? We're going to fight the purple? Or the purple will threat? Oh, he wants to fight. He wants me to fight. Alright, well, watch me get killed in PvP. Are we both fighting him? Is that the... Almost. Oh, 
This is the only game I PvP in. And only whenever something like this happens. Oh no! See a dirty healer? I oh, well it is two for one. Yeah, I was summoned, so this guy that's not going the guy that's not going purple summoned me into his world. And he's fighting this purple guy who's another player. So yeah, I got summoned into this world to help him fight this guy. Which The PvPers <laughs> Are not the guys who actually PvP are not too upset about fighting two, two on one. I mean, he was chasing Kepler down. See, now he's running to the enemies, which is kind of BS. Let's see if he. Nope. Okay. Well, I was trying to heal us both. Well, you got all the, the mound maker just, see the, the mound maker, the purple guy. So Dark Souls 3 has a, uh, you know, a lot of different colored summons. So if you're a golden summon, a yellow summon, that, like I am, that means you're a brotherhood of sunlight, which means you're here to help the host. You can't, I can't hurt the host. Like you just saw me attack that enemy and he didn't get hurt. If you're a red summons, that means you're here, you're just here to kill the host. If you're a purple summons, you can do either. Like the guy we fought, you can fight the host or you can, and or fight enemies. So when he ran into the enemies, that was kind of dumb, because the enemies attack him. Unlike the red, the red, so the red invaders, the enemies ignore, kind of recognize him as one of their own. Oh no, he got fire hugged. I got him, buddy. There you go. Come to me. Come to me. Okay. Either this guy's new, he just doesn't know about faith builds. Because if he's actually close enough to me when I cast a spell. Well, if it isn't my favorite old man. Well, hello, buddy. Come to me. Thank you. See, now I can heal you. And me. Yeah, he ran into the end of the purple guy. Oh, he was trying to parry. I'm sorry. I'll let you try to parry. I'll let you practice parry. Matter of fact, I'll be nice enough to... I've been pretty good. I had some... Uh, been having some back problems, but that's probably because I sleep on the couch. Because my upstairs neighbor decided to, uh, upstairs neighbor's son decided to disconnect the toilet from the wall. And apparently nobody noticed until we called the maintenance man because my bathroom was an inch deep in water. So my carpet in my room is so soaking, sobbing wet. But besides that, besides the back problems, doing pretty good. My man here is, well, maybe we can make it to the bonfire over there. If he knows about it. Uh, he... 
he does. I will exit your world, buddy. Give you a bow and let you sit at the bonfire. Uh oh, you getting your butt kicked in DS1? Oh no! <laughs> Sorry to hear that. What system are you playing on? <laughs> Is this your first playthrough of DS1? PS4? Oh, well, that's the one system I can't help you with. <laughs> Is it your first playthrough on PS1? Or, I'm sorry, of Dark Souls? Because those are always the worst. Your first Dark Souls game is always the worst. Is it your first playthrough? What cla how far have you gotten? What class did you play? Did you pick? Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Uh, well, Sekiro was my first. Oh, but I don't know if I would. But I have not played Sekiro. Uh, I would definitely say it's Souls like. But I've never played. I have not had the pleasure of Sekiro. I'm sure Dark Souls is a lot slower. It's a different. Uh, Pacing. Yeah, but I had a lot of trouble with my first Dark Souls playthrough, yeah. I uh, ran the most basic class warrior. I'm level 62, and I'm in Orlando currently. Ooh. Yeah, I was actually, sur I was pleasantly surprised that I, uh, I had more, well, I don't know if you made it to, uh, the bosses there or not. I was pleasantly surprised at myself that I was able to take out the boss on my first try. Oh, buddy. This is, no. Uh, oops. I, I've never played any of the Resident Evils. Uh, if it's a yeah, probably not, actually. I have slow weapons, so they're hard. Orange and smell. 
Yeah, I fought him. What did I have? I had a battle axe. I later on went with got the uh, ultra. Why do I keep doing that? The Black Knight Ultra Great Sword. But at that point, I was running a battle axe. There you go, buddy. So I had sex with a face, a big punch. Yeah. My main weapon, crystal great sword broke. Oh, uh, yeah. The crystal weapons, the only way. Yeah, the crystal weapons are kind of a trap in my mind. The only way to uh, repair them is to upgrade them. And you can only upgrade them so far. And Dark Souls 1, once the. Yeah, you can repair them in Dark Souls 1, can't you? No, you can't repair them because it's a crystal. You can repair other weapons. But you can't repair a crystal. Yeah, you love the Guts Grey Sword they have? Yeah. That's something I need to, that probably might be the first, I want to do a uh, YouTube uh, reaction channel, uh, nerd reacts to nerdy things that he missed, and uh, the Guts anime might be the first thing I react to, because I've never watched it. Berserk? That's what it's called, right? It's the opposite of hurting? Well, it's anime, so I, I don't know if I can... Like I said, I've never watched it. But, uh... From what I've seen, anime's kind of nerdy. Our nerds like anime. I don't know whether or not anime, that makes anime nerdy. But nerds like anime. Ah, right. The 90s anime is pretty good. I think if that sucks. Yeah, the only one I've... Let's see, I watched... Uh, is it Seven Deadly Sins? I don't know what, you would, what category that would come into. But... And it was okay. I mean, it wasn't something that I was like, this is the best thing ever. But it kept my attention enough to watch it. Thank you for letting me backstab you. Or not. Or not. Uh... We might be uh, experiencing a little bit of lag here, guys. <laughs> Connection error occurred. <laughs> uh, no. I mean, I've seen an episode here or there. Uh, <laughs> that was a connection error. I've seen an episode here or there, but I never got into Dragon Ball Z. I mean, I know enough to know, like, the main characters. I th well, okay, some of the characters. I don't know if, uh, the, the, Goku and, uh, the green guy. And... Oh, 
the other bad guy that's a Saiyan. Whose name? So I guess I don't know them. Piccolo is a green guy. Yeah, that's it. Aha! Welcome to my I am Cornix, an old pyromancer. A crow in his cage, as you see now. But here we are. An encounter for the ages. Oh, Vegeta used to be bad. Ah, okay. Why the unkindled make the fine vessel? Care to learn some pyromancies from this old man? So this is an old Dark Souls trope. You find people uh, trapped, and you say, "Yes, I'd like to learn pyromancies or whatever they s s do." Most wise, a chance encounter should not be squandered. To reiterate, I am Cornix of the Great Swamp. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> and then they teleport out. Which makes you wonder why the hell didn't they do that before you said you'd let them work for you? I don't know. I'm stuck in a basket. I had to get stuck in a basket. Ooh, a great machete. That's not actually not a bad weapon. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't. I can I, 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 That is. I don't know. Especially when you can break the basket so easily. You just roll into it and break it. So interesting enough, that guy sells pyromancies, which is fire spells, and next to him you find the fire clutch ring, which makes your fire spells do more damage. So you can 100%, you can 100% play this game and, and just burn everything. <laughs> I'm going to cast fire spells at everything. I never wanted to play an animal on this one. I only wanted to play DS3. Yeah. <laughs> well, why did you play DS1 then? Was it my fault? Did I tell you to try DS1? Added. Oh, so you can understand lore and references. That makes sense. Because there's definitely a lot of lore. And DS3 has a lot of throwbacks. Uh, especially to Dark Souls 1. It has some throwbacks to Dark Souls 2. But way more throwbacks to Dark Souls 1. Which, I don't know, I don't know, not this way. Here in a little bit, you'll see one of the throwbacks. That made me happy the first time I saw it. Jump down here. Jump down here. Heal up. Puppy might sh puppy might come down. You coming down? Can you figure out the ladder? No. All right. Oh, the rats have shown up though. Uh. 
should definitely play PS3 with you if you don't have PlayStation. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. All I have, I have it, I have it on Xbox and I have it on PC, but I don't have it on. I don't have a PlayStation, so. Uh, I have a fire bomb. Ow. Bam! Did I pick up my souls? I don't think I did. Uh, blood bot ring. Uh, I've never played Bloodborne. Nope. Sega Genesis or GTFO? Well, I'm gonna have to GTFO then, because I don't have one of those either. Uh, <laughs> No, I've never played Bloodborne, I've never played Sekiro. Yeah, 90s consoles. Right? I had, uh, what did I have in the 90s? I had a PlayStation. The last PlayStation I had was PlayStation. PlayStation do what Nintendo don't. I'll buy that. I don't get invaded if I'm. Okay. I should probably go spend my souls before I get murdered by random mom. <laughs> Uh, I play Nintendo. Ah. That's the only bad thing about being stubborn now. I'm going to come back, especially if I die, I'll have... I'll have less than full hit points, and she'll be back to full hit points, and we'll be right on top of each other. So that'll be fine. Wesley. Uh, yeah, he probably went the other way. So I played uh, Super Mario Brothers and all those. I also played Atari though. Yeah, I don't know nothing about Atari. Oh. Oh my god, my buddy has got the great axe. So I'm talking about respect. Oh, we're going after the boss? Okay, here we go. running past everything or are we going to fight everything? We're fighting. Okay. I think. Yeah, we're fighting. Okay. Well, Jesus, guys. Can y'all give me a second? Like, one at a time would be great. Wrong game for one at a time. Okay. Block. Attack. Attack. Y'all are really annoying. <laughs> right, did he go to the boss? Who's on that way? Oh, well, this person isn't playing the meta. What a loser. Like, who the hell judges how others play a video game? Right. Uh, Neon? I, I, why did you do that? How did you do that? 
did you mean to do that? I've never seen that particular font of typing before. I am a space wizard. I believe you. I believe you. Well, okay. Like I say, if you're going to the right, I can't help. I can't go with you. Uh, if you want to go, okay. You want to open the shortcut? You you got the boss door. Okay, sure. I'm I'm confused as to where you're going, bro. But I'm here with you. Magic. Yeah, it's not like it was five years ago. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised Elrond's worse than. Well, I'm saying, oh, well, that's the next game I'm playing after I defeat, finish this playthrough of. Uh, Dark Souls, I'll go to Elden Ring next. Uh, Mad Dark Hodrick Invaded. Okay. Fight the purple guy or is the purple guy your friend? Apparently the purple guy is, oh no, we're fighting the purple guy. Okay. Same purple guy. It looks looks like the same purple guy anyway. I'm confuzzled. What what exactly are you your your plans here, buddy? Yeah, the purple guy is Oh, it's purple guy fighting the okay. purple guy's fighting the bad guys. I'm, I'm I'm happy and confused at the same time. Why are we fighting all these guys back here when? You, okay. Uh, I'm. Why are we going all the way back to the starting area, buddy? What what what's what's the plan here? Do you not know? <laughs> are you are you new? Uh, Elon played Elden Ring. Uh, I thought Elon was most welcoming. However, oh, there's the only community I'm looking forward to, Dark Souls 3. I thought Elden Ring was the most welcoming. Brother, they made 10 articles about how Elon must build was and how he's a dumbass for it. When Elon chose to not follow the meta in Elden Ring. Elon played Elden Ring? Yeah, he chose a wholly unique build, but people seemed mad over it. Which is stupid. Let anyone play whatever they want to play. Someone to tell me I'm playing a luck build that has luck of 12. Okay, well, do it. Uh, they really should be mad about how he ripped off everybody claimed it to admit. <laughs> I agree. It just boggles me. Thousands of people got upset over this man choosing to play differently. I won't have to look that up. That's funny. I've been playing to run waste of skin build. Bloodborne, I'm not going to pitch. The others choose a different. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. Let them play. Let them play the game how they want to play, and you play the game how you want to play. You might learn something. Hell. He might. He might find a new meta. Or. 
something else that's just fun. I'm probably going to do, uh, I want at least our first build in Elden Ring is going to be my same thing I do in the other games. Is dark, dark? No. Strength, faith, which I heard is good in Elden Ring. Yeah, that's how I feel as well. Uh, yeah. Some pe I mean, people play these games with like, I thought he had this door open. He doesn't. Okay. Some people play these games at so level one. That's not something I'm interested in doing. But if that's the way they want to do it. By all means, get to it. It's just like my Pathfinder game. I've had people come in. Not lately, but I've had people come in before. You're not playing on New Atlanta permadeath mode at the hardest difficulty? Nope. Then you're not playing the game for real. Okay, sure. Yeah. Well, good luck to you. I hope you enjoy it. I think maybe they don't have much time. They just want to feel like a god, and that's perfectly, yeah. Perfectly okay for them. Just don't ask others. Yeah. If you want to, I mean, I had a, as long as it's not competitive, do it however you want to. I.e., you know, if you're fighting another player, don't cheat. But otherwise, do it however you want to. I have a friend of mine, funny story, uh, he, uh, I got him to play Dark Souls 2, and, uh, he, uh, downloaded somebody else's character's file, and basically they had cheated and, uh, loaded in an endless amount of uh, soul items. So he started Dark Souls 2 at, with every stat at 99. I don't think I would have any fun doing that playthrough. Wow, all that and the host dies immediately. That's great. Uh, I don't think I'd have any fun doing that, but he said he liked it. I only run trash starting classes because I like the challenge, but I don't mind if you want to run knight or samurai. Yeah, exactly. You do you. I'll do me. We'll both be happy. Uh, I've been playing Battlefield 4. Any of you guys played? I've not played Battlefield 4. That's a shooter game, right? All the Battlefield games or FPS, first person shooters? I hit you, but you didn't hit me. That's the both worlds. Okay, where? <laughs> oh, where? That was a weird camera for a second. Where'd you go? Which way did she go, George? Yeah, 99, and you know what's hilarious? Oh, there's a spiked mace. Well, that's cool. You know what's hilarious? He got 99 in all stats. Now, this was uh, Dark Souls 1. It's the best battlefield. That's cool. Just got a new light machine gun, and it's by goodness, it's powerful. Awesome. Uh, so, this is Dark Souls 1 before Scholar, or Dark Souls 2, not Dark Souls 2 Scholar. Uh, he basically just bullied all the bosses because he had 99 in all stats and he was a new game, right? 
So he was able to just like walk into the boss and trade blows with them. Every boss. And he doesn't know where he's going. And he made it to the ancient dragon. Well, if you play Dark Souls 2, you know that when you get to the ancient dragon, you have to get an item from the ancient dragon. Uh, to let you go into the past. If you just talk to the dragon, he'll give you the item. If you attack the dragon, you have to kill the dragon to get the item. Well, because he's such a badass, he just walks up and starts swinging on the dragon. Well, in Dark Souls 2, before, uh, hey, thanks for the, uh, bits, atrocious, and welcome back. Uh, yeah, he, I had no respect for him either. I have no idea. But when he got to the dragon, uh, the ancient dragon, the ancient dragon has a particular attack where it jumps up and shoots fire straight down. Yeah, he doesn't give a shit what your hit points are. In Dark Souls 2, not Scholar, but the original DS2, it just eats your hit points up. So even with Vitality of 99, it would two-shot him. And because he's never actually got good at the game, he doesn't know how... He can't beat the dragon. Because as soon as the dragon does that, he's dead. So he started the game with 99 in all attributes and could not beat the game. He got to, because since he attacked the dragon, he could just get the item. The Ashen Mist. So, I thought it was hilarious that he cheated and Dark Souls was like, Bruh, I don't care. And he's actually a, uh, uh, he's one of those guys that has, you know, does gains or achievements, which apparently, even though he had 99 in all stats, he still got all the achievements. Except for, you know, everything past the Ancient Dragon. How's it going, Atrocious? Let's see. What else do I have to do? I have to do... Let's go get... Yeah, let's go save the... Don't... Yeah, let's go... This way. Let's go save the Cleric Lake. Let's drop our summon sign. For our... Charlie Corporation. Uh, no, I don't think he was. I had a little fit earlier, but I'm going to find out. Yeah. Oh, that's a shark. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad you're doing better, Atrocious. Were you upset at the game again? Find out you have. <laughs> I don't know if he's that. That's like another guy that I worked with at the time. Uh, you remember this was a back further back in the day. Um, Fable. Remember the Fable games? I love the Fable games. Uh, he figured out. He probably saw it on the. A magazine or the internet or something. But he figured out a way to, uh, basically with cheesing the two player mode with Fable. You could start the game with two controllers and somehow get infinite experience immediately. So he started, before he fought the first enemy, he had everything maxed out. And I have no idea why he would think that would be fun. Alright, we're going to do a little cheese here. At least a tip too. Or do I? Yeah, let's try it without cheese. Worst that can happen. I die.
This is Dark Souls, so if I get upset for dying, I'm playing the wrong game. Right, now there's only one of them. A lot less chance of me dying. Alright, got him. Uh, you need to play Fable? Fable's awesome. Uh, if there's someone who's really busy, that would kind of be excuse. Yeah, yeah. Not for cheating, but I don't know. Turn in the difficulty if they don't have a lot of time. Yeah, I mean, if you're not playing against another player character, do whatever you want to, you know. Uh, he should play Spider-Man or some G. Uh, but for those of you who have not played Dark Souls 3 and have played Dark Souls 1, this is the first major callback to Dark Souls 1. And the first time I saw it, I was so happy. It's the Onion Knight. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, it's him. Yeah. Hmm. And he's just as, uh, just the same as he was Ooh. in Dark Souls 1. Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. I am Siegbert of Katarina. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Oh, yeah. Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you yeah. see. And, uh, well, this is his great 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 grandson maybe. This lift only with a I I don't know why but nowadays we really don't respect our time. New God of War seven cent walking cuts into it only. Third cent coming at actual gameplay. Wow. I've always, I've always, obviously, my name is Erebus on the internet, so I'm a fan of Greek mythology. So the God of War series always has always seemed cool to me. I've never played them because it's PlayStation, but stuff like that makes me question. So this guy's a little tough of a boss, a little mini boss. And a lot of people don't realize you can just run past him. Open the door. Here's a bonfire. You love God of War? Yeah. Yeah, I've never played them. But, and now you can fight them at your leisure. If you die, you, your souls are right here. And frostbitten just means you get slower stamina regen, I'm pretty sure. Which isn't great, but not the end of the world. Oh, I ran out of stamina. There we go. You go for the game, you have to watch a two minute cutscene and go through a forced linear section where the game plays itself for you. I have a comment, it's fine when it happens. That's cool. Alright, well, I'm gonna ember up. Here's where we're gonna go help. 
our buddy. And we have to fight another mini boss. Let's see, how many souls do I have? Do I have? Oh, I've got enough to level. Let's go level up real quick. Put another point in strength for that. Imminent. Uh. Weapon. I'm going to have to farm for. Which also I can plus two this, at least plus two this sword. Which is a good idea. The Claymore. Ah, good what needs. Uh, reinforced weapon. Let's see, I need three more shards. Okay. Be careful. Back to the world of sacrifice. Souls that we can fight. Mystic! Wasn't Dark Souls 3 widely regarded as the worst of the series? Uh, Dark Souls 2 is the one that everybody hates. Yeah, Dark Souls 2. I love Dark Souls 2, but a lot of people don't like Dark Souls 2. That's the one that uh, people don't like. Dark Souls 3, everyone agrees. I mean, there's definitely people who don't think it's the best, but I've never heard anyone actually say it's the worst. You think you're, um, I'm almost certain you're talking about Dark Souls 2. Yeah, I love Dark Souls 2. It has the best, uh, from a lot of people say it's the best, uh, uh, mm. PvP. It's got the uh, best uh, fashion souls for sure. Alright. Let's go up here and get a new buddy. Hey, buddy. Who are you? I help anytime. He help anytime. See, people say Dark Souls 3 is hard, or Dark Souls games are hard. They give you friendly giants like that. He help any time. No. Hmm. Alright, <laughs> let's see if... Hey buddy, how you doing? Right. But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. I've mm. unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't hit me again in DS3. Well, you'll see in a second. On some days, I begin to doubt myself. I went up the tower, so I thought, then somehow ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Anyhow, do you see that? That humongous beast? I'm no coward and I have a steady hand, but that thing makes my skin crawl. How now? Think twice before you go down that road. I could try talking some sense into him. <laughs> I think everything he says is a lie. <laughs> is far too overheated. I've got to use my head and think. Well, he does look... The, the mm. fire demon down there does look overheated. So I don't know if I'd call that a lie. I could try talking... No, I think I've got... And one of the coolest parts... Try to roll. No, 
So he can actually die here and ruin his quest line. It happened to a friend of mine. And you can actually hit him and kill him by mistake. But we got him. That was quite a performance. You mustn't get in over your head. We unkindled must put our duties first. Not overheated, but to play logically. For a moment, would be it. Would it, it. <laughs> and it gives you Siegbrow. I have played this game before, yes. I've played this game many, 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 many times. Way too many hours. <laughs> A ridiculous amount of hours. <laughs> I don't know who our Dark Souls champion. Oh, really? That's cool. I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. He immediately goes to sleep. <laughs> and you learn, uh, the toast. Onion man. And you wanted to sleep also. Emote. Yeah, he's pretty awesome. <laughs> Bro Mystic said a comment and you said something about how you was pull up in real life. Onion man. Onion man is funny. He's cool. Uh, let's see, we've got a very large club, Ch testing my memory, okay, just a large club. And I kind of like, like right here is the uh, Northern Helm set, Northern set. Which, if you start the game as one of the classes, the warrior, I think that's his starting armor. Yeah. So apparently, the warrior class made it to here and died. Well, let's see if I can wear. Oops, 62. I haven't put anything into uh, carry weight, so. Wow. It appears I cannot. You want to get below seven, stay below 70%. I just hate. I hate having that turtle shell on my back. I hate it. I started off as a cleric and I, can't, I always take that turtle shell off. Yeah. The northern set, yeah. I'll show I'll show you the whole set. Yeah, it's it's pretty Viking-y. Viking like. But I don't have the carry weight to carry it to wear it all. Let's see if I can do Ooh, I can wear everything with the shirt. I'll do that.
Yeah, I can't, don't want a fat roll. <laughs> I don't mind fat, no, I don't want a fat roll. I can medium roll, I'm not going to fat roll. Let's get, how many throwing, oh, I have 19 throwing eyes. Let's equip, let's equip them. See, look how I'm trying to be tricky. Alluring skulls, which is probably something I should use up here. The deep and rich terminology of the Dark Souls series. Yes, it's fat rolling. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Come to me, puppy. Okay. That. How am I missing him? Okay. medium rolling, but I'm not going to fat roll. Well, fine. I'll just use all of them on you. Jerk. If you actually increase your dexterity, these things actually do decent damage. Uh, yeah, we'll go. We open this, all of them fall down. Alright. Should I be... Yeah, let's, let's do the smart thing. I don't know if I've ever actually done it this way, but we'll try. Them out. What does Erebus? Oh, Estus tastes like. Oh, Sunny D, obviously. Tastes like sweetened uh, orange juice. Lava? <laughs> watched, uh, I think it was Fighting Cowboy, who's a, uh, kind of an expert on the Souls games now, but his first playthrough of, uh, Dark Souls 3, he made it all the way over here, oh, that was close, I think if I missed that landing, I would have died, he found this item, Which is a throwback to Dark Souls 2. But did notice that this item was here. And this item is the reason you come over here. The Chloranthi Ring. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. I see your logic. Of course, I'm acting like it's sad that he didn't notice it, but I'm watching his videos to learn stuff, so. <laughs> okay. Uh... Yeah, let's... Let's run up here. Um, 
This might be dangerous now I'm thinking about it. Hey guy. Don't bother me. Don't mind me, I'm just passing through. Don't bother me guys, I'm just passing through. Don't worry about it. Don't get upset. A special hate for Dark Souls 3 talks. Yeah. Yeah. All Dark Souls dogs suck. Excuse me, sir. And slide to the bar part. Yes. Nice. Alright, let's go to... Here. Yes. Dog Souls 3. Yes. In uh, Dark Souls 2, I remember seeing something that they said uh, they kept track of uh, NPC invasion. Uh, they kept track of uh, how many dogs died in Dark Souls 2 in the first like year or something more dogs died while people were playing Dark Souls 2 than dogs live on the planet Earth Should hit you, bro. Spacing. Love it. Ouch. Eh, you ass is chugging jerk. No honor among invaders anymore. Yeah, I'm dead. Nope, I'm not. Okay. This is a, uh, oh, thanks for the compliment and welcome. Uh, that was a NPC summons. That's not a real person. Uh, only roll, can you only roll in Dark Souls 3? No, you block too. Uh, is there simple, is there not a simple dodge? Well, you can backstep, but it's not as guaranteed. Uh, actually, I don't know. I haven't played in a while. There's a dodge and a back step. That's it. Roll is overrated in my opinion. Uh, haha. <laughs> F you rip, bozo. Yeah. He, he does, he has a little bit of parry on his side. Alright, let us. We have made friends. Oh, don't want to. We've got our giant friend, which he'll come up in the next little section.
Those guys used to be so scary to me. Another great machete. So I started to realize you can just two hand and make them pretty minimal. So you see all these arrows here? That's our giant friend. If you don't go make him a friend, he will target you with them. Which obviously makes this area a little bit more challenging. Especially since there's death. It seemed like he hit, just hit right next to me and didn't hurt me. There's like, what, two other places in the game? We find these white birch trees and he will help you around them. Alright, reinforced club. Let's see. I always get nervous about this jump. I don't know when the last time I didn't make the jump was, but I always like tighten up. Undead bone shard, that makes your S just more powerful, so always good. Oh, okay. Let's see how this works for fashion. Oh, 71.7. Can't do it. Uh, scariest enemy in Dark Souls 3 Madir oh if you're talking about not a boss uh, the ooh, flamberge that's a, that's a rare drop uh, the the uh, DLC guys who summon all the archers. They're pretty scary. <sighs> Flamber Flamberge. One more dexterity. Does a little bit of bleed, but my brother's a big fan of bleed. I've never really given it too much of a chance. Let's see. Do I have no? No. There we go. I need one more time. No, I think that's. Is it one more shark? Well, let's go find out, shall we? Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Ha ha ha. Scary said he's the different player's wallets. Yeah. Is that really? Yeah. Great scythe. There's not really uh, too much play to win in this game. You can't... Yeah, but... Yeah, it does cost money to play, yeah. Ooh, a sun bro! Percival. I'm a sun bro. I could get a sun bro to help me... We can get each other a medallion. Oh, that's right. You don't get praise of sun until the very end of the game. We give a bow, though. This is a real person. A 
and he started off well. Yeah, he started off as or well, he wouldn't got maybe the. Uh, Oh, the Dex Faith Build Class Herald. That's what it's called. The Herald said it's not too far away. He might have went and got it. So this boss is cheeky. Because the only way you can hit him is on the postules. on the ground and he gets in between me and the camera well I thought she could hit that guess we'll just I'm gonna try to get rid of his testicular sack And now, stage two. People don't like this boss. It's not too bad for me. Now attack his testiculars. Percival. Percival to the testiculars. So not words I thought I would say today. No, he, gra he did grab me. Spamming that heal button. Alright, Percival. Thank you for the help, sir. Multiple depends. Wait. He's not dead. He's not dead on my screen. <laughs> oh my god. I even said goodbye and everything. <laughs> He fooled both of us. <laughs> that was great. It's amazing he didn't murder us while we were saying goodbye to each other. <laughs> uh, yeah, there are games with thousands of dollars in DLC. Dead or alive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's crazy, right? It's such BS. There you look at the failed DLC change. Simulation. Uh, multiple thousands, two thousand and seven. Lol, season ninety-four DLCs. Yes, but that's even buys it. Steam caps how many shown on page two hundred three. Apparently, wow. But I mean, you are double the train enthusiasts. They were. That was funny. Both me and Parcher were like, "Good job, great job, we did it." Oh wait, he's got four hit points left. Uh, uh, that was hilarious. <laughs> I talked to a friend of mine today. He's going to help me uh, figure out to do. He he has his own YouTube channel. He doesn't do it as often as I do. Uh, but he's going to help me show show me how to do some editing and stuff. That that should be a short clip. Me celebrating the death of the boss that's still alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, it's like, a, isn't it, what's the game? Uh, the Elder Scrolls Online? 
doesn't have like so many DLCs now. Yeah, it should be fun. This is quite uh, has quite a store, but has never felt imposing or hellish. Okay. Grab this. Hey, buddy. I didn't notice you came in. Uh, it's got a bunch of expansion chests, but in games like that, the real cost is the lock boxes, loot boxes. I played it when it first came out. Uh, and it was okay, but I think when I started the, started the game and it's like, pick a class, I'm like, what? This is Elder Scrolls. Why would I pick a class? Pick a class! I don't want to pick a class. I want to be able to do whatever I want to. All the like, story DLCs are granted temporarily while you have a paid membership, so you can bypass like 90% of this store by having the sub. Oh, okay. That's cool. I might give it a view. So let's give you the ashes. Uh, Gracious, let this I only hope. <laughs> uh, let's purchase the key. Man, I've almost got enough to buy the other key. Try to remember what's up there. Oh, yeah. I think I will wait, though. Might be worth it, but. Yeah. It's Elder Scrolls for the MMO, but it's MMO first. Yeah. Right. The sub just makes sense. It's pretty good stew, like the almighty craft bag. Almighty craft bag. Are you going to give me a heavy gym now? This is our uh, fresh call, fresh fallen, crest fallen night. At the foot, it was you. DS3. You have a good you can meet with. This guy though actually has kind of a story. We'll give you a heavy gym. <laughs> and later, if you do everything right, you can fight him. Welcome home. I speak that. Uh, level up. Well. Let's go to Dream Vitality. Yeah. Like those nice even numbers. And while I'm here, 15k? Jesus. Now, which game is that? That's for 15k? War Thunder. Mm. I'm fast on Use the well, you know what, buddy? <laughs> I don't like invading other players, so. Wow. What's wrong with you? I wish I could get your. I see. I see. As clear as day. You are a vile, starved beast. Much too. Ow. Sir, 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 we can be friends. Can't we be friends, sir? Stab him in the face. Can't we be friends, sir? Ah. Uh -huh. Give me your hat. And the other item I'll never use.
Now we have it. We can have a Bloodborne like hat. Have to say you quit it? Yeah. Put $100 plus for a Star Citizen Founder package. Way back in this little, as I adored game freelance, and I wanted to well thank Chris Roberts for that, and also see what he could do with the team of marketers. Turns out it makes it spend 10 years making sure the bed sheets realistically crap when your character's sleeping in a bed. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Oh, I'm looking for you. Yep, you know that. This is the guy that makes boss weapons, if you didn't know. Uh, and, yeah, he can make the Lucatil Sword and the Taurus Spear. No, neither of those are really what I'm looking for, though. So I'll probably wind up eating the soul of the tree. Uh, dilapidated bridge, yes. Dedication. There's one word for it. Questionable dedication. <laughs> Let's see, I can't wear... Oop, I can wear this shirt. Not terrible. So the key I bought is for right here. <laughs> it's fun to mm. let's see red hilted halberd which I have no idea why it's different what makes it different than the regular halberd but it's apparently different and we get our first skellies. Ooh, actually, poised to that. I should have done my bone chart. Oh well. Uh, on the plus side, the freelance package I bought uh, to thank him for the game freelance it was a ship called the Freelancer that is like a smaller cargo ship with big guns, so it's a perfect thing for one three man cargo business. That's ideal for ship for smuggler. Sounds awesome. It's a good start starting ship with a class. The classic feel to it. Have you guys seen Mandela Catwalk? I flew it once. My friend took the gun turret. We randomly attacked another player and did basically nothing to him. I have quite a few ships in Star Citizen. My friend found the middle button and we cracked his ship in half. Cargo crates flew everywhere. We died trying to drag them from space. But I joined the project only after they had working on my game. It was great fun. Sounds like fun. Missile button. Okay. Uh, no, nope, it's this way. And so you thought you were gonna sneak it, didn't you? But somebody has fallen into that trap before. Oh, hi. Bye. <laughs> Whistle knows where it is all the time. 
Pretty interested in more uh, players should consider upgrading yours into a Mercury Star Runner. Alright. Uh, this is also a heavy gem, isn't it? Which is fine. I make seven now. Let me get this. I forgot I even put down my summer sign. Okay. Hopefully it'll be there. Hello, a store in the night. Nice. Hello, sir. What is your bidding this day? That's why we got plunging attacks. Just plunge them. Be fine. Oh, you want help to go through here? Well, okay. It's not a particularly challenging area, but I will help you do it. I like jelly cooperation. But when I first played this, uh, so whenever you successfully kill a boss or summon a brother, uh, summon like brother to uh, kill the first kill a boss, like I summoned that guy to help me with the tree boss, you get a sunlight medal. Well, near the end of the medal, end of the medal, end of the game, you find a sunlight altar where you can spend those medals. You can only, 30 is the maximum you can spend. I mean, you can spend more, but 30 is the last time you'll get anything. Uh, I had 70 my first playthrough. When I got, by the time I got to the uh, sunlight, uh, the altar of sunlight. So, I really enjoyed helping people. Yep, my man knows about the uh, shield up there. Yeah, you need arrows, buddy. There you go. Well, we're gonna fight them, okay. Wah! Missed. He's touching a maiden. I fly mostly luxury ships in Star Citizen. That's cool. You know I can't follow you if you take a left, right? Okay, you're taking a right. Alright, so you do know that. I know one item I really want in this in this playthrough that I don't think I've ever gotten before is uh, Solaris Shield. I think you pretty much have to go to New Game Plus to get it though. So. 
Oh, he's got the bus door open, so. Let's go kill the tree boss again. See if I can get me another sunlight metal. And maybe this time we'll, you know, remember that the, we we'll realize the boss is still alive when the boss is still alive. Uh, so you know, he doesn't know about SC, the series space fight. Same game with combat missions and features of ability to fly anywhere and get out. See the explorer, see the loading screen space initially. Huh, that's cool. Traverse. Don't die me, bro. Yeah, but hang on. He's right. Nice. get out of his poop so I can move. Attack is the testiculars. Might of members. Oh he still has he's got one hit point left. No, nope, we got it. This boss is nasty but I guess uh, it's true of most of them. Uh yeah. He's, well, obviously he's not difficult. He's just uh, different. I'll put it that way, Rana. Some people have a lot of trouble with him. I've heard. Hello, sir. Welcome to my pit. Nope. Okay. Fire bombs. Uh. Do I have a bow? At all? I do. Doesn't matter that I can't do damage with it. Okay. It's not there, it's here. Excellent. Uh, I'll equip the bow. The Blessed Spread and White Shield plus one. Which basically gives you very, 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 very little health regen when you go to it, but like one hit point per few seconds when you have 800 or 993 hit points. <laughs> so, like, equip it, walk away, go make a sandwich, hope you don't get invaded, come back, you still have half your hit points to go, switch over to YouTube, watch a video or two, come back. Whoever you 
Don't touch me. Well, <laughs> the dark surrounds me, nibbles at my flesh. Little creatures, they never stop biting. So please, hold out your hand and touch me. Which is ironic that you don't actually touch her. <laughs> oh, yes, there you are. So close, indeed. And I am not entirely alone just yet. Praise the merciful gods above. And now I've learned how to do the prayer emote. Oh, forgive me. I am Irina of Karim. I came to this land so that I might be a firekeeper. Your touch has freed me from the darkness. You are Pretty sure there are no angels of mercy <laughs> in the universe. I am weak and unfit to turn the flames. That's ironic. But if it will not trouble you... <laughs> You're probably right though. Might I enter into your service instead? Oh, thank you, sweet champion. I shall take my vows. I, Irina of Karim, solemnly swear to serve you. Uh, she is the miracle teacher, though, which I am a faith strength build, so I will be using her tutelage. I will be no buying stuff for her. All you faceless undead, behaving as if you deserve respect. Now you've gone and rescued the wench. How very quaint. Pitying creatures that are beyond help. <laughs> yeah, very well. I'm sick of looking after her at any rate. I'm Egon. A knight of Karim. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. What's the matter? My terms so. are very simple. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. If you, uh... In the game, you can find I'm dark spells. If you give her the dark spells and then ask to learn them, she'll say something about how she doesn't want to do it, how it doesn't feel right. And if you buy them anyway, i.e. making her access the dark spells, uh, she will eventually leave you and he will attack you. If you go to the right place. Egon, Knight of the Ghostbusters. Yes. But if you... If you... Don't ever give her dark spells. And you find all the spells of the game. And you give her... And you buy all of the miracles that she can sell that aren't dark spells. Uh, she actually turns into a second firekeeper. Why you would need a second firekeeper? But she turns into a second firekeeper. We're gonna go to Firelink. Oh, Mystic, you're a nerd for remember Egon from Ghostbusters, but that's all right. I'm a nerd for remembering it as well. And over here, she is. Oh, champion of I was not meant to be a fire. Gods are ever merciful. I am yours now. Okay, so. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Buy the sanctuary. It gives you one extra spell slot. If you want to cast spells. So I already have heal. Replenishment is terrible. Crushing Tears is wonderful. 
especially for the places we're eventually going to be going to. And eventually, I mean, like, next episode. <laughs> Surprisingly, there's poison swamps in this game. Can you believe it? Uh, let's see, how much, actually, Dark Souls 3, I can do this. Uh, sell item. So that's 3,000 souls. So, not, well, I'll sell it, but I'm not going to get enough to get to 20. So that's 2,000 souls, 17. Yeah, well, 20 more weight. Uh, uh, also have a high resolution picture of the Vigo painting. And I have an image of Vigo uh, actor in costume using a push broom with a big smile on his face behind the set. That's funny. Uh, can I plus three by Claymore? I think I got another shard. Oh, well, this is not going to be. This would be the basic weapon I have. I need six. Be careful. I always, whenever I go into a Souls game, because there's three tiers of. There's the basic weapon. Uh, material, upgrade material. So, Titan shards, water Titan shards. Tinite chunks. Uh, then there's a special, which are always twinkling twilight, twinkling twilight, uh, twinkling tight night. And then there's the boss weapons, which is always a different upgrade material. So I always have like, okay, what am I going to use my Twinkies for? What do I use my boss for? Uh, this would probably be my uh, basic. One Claymore. Claymore's Claymore is the Baymore. Welcome home, speak then touch the I'm not gonna be a Dex build, but I do know the what actually I have Google. D S three uh, Black Knight Ultra Great Sword. What are the requirements? Uh, Eighteen dexterity, thirty strength. 18 dexterity. That's a lot of dexterity. A lot more dexterity than I thought it was going to be. I'll put it that way. It's the Ultra Knight Greatsword. Uh, these games aren't for me, but I try out Elden Ring. A bit still wasn't for me, but I could see some appeal. Yeah. Well, after I beat this, I am going to go Elden Ring next. And then I'm going to start trying. <laughs> if I ever finish Elden Ring, I know Elden Ring is a gigantic, enormous game. Uh, I'm going to do uh, <clears throat> some mods on DS3 and maybe DS1 and by then maybe I'll have DS2 on PC let's see there's a couple of things I can go back and do I'm trying to remember what's down there, nothing really great same for me, Elden Ring ain't for me but Dark Souls 3 is for me I think yeah I want to I wanna try Elden Ring I've not played it. I played Elden Ring uh, a few hours and it was making me dizzy. 
when it first came out, I played it. It was making me dizzy. Uh, so I stopped playing it. I got maybe a couple hours in. Uh, but, like last week, I put it back in. I played a couple of hours just running around, goofing off. And it didn't make me dizzy. I did slow down. Yeah, I know they've updated it. And I did slow down the uh, camera turn rate. Uh, it could also have been the horse. The horse might have been what was making me dizzy. I had I, I when I was messing around, I didn't get the horse. But if the horse makes me dizzy, I'll just play without the horse. Which is not really a horse, but you know what I'm talking about. Which I think is... Apparently they specifically gave it the name Torrent. For... So when people Google... Uh, Dark, or Elden Ring Torrent, they get the horse. Uh. Oh, <laughs> I looked over the stream and it was not there because I had I still had the Dark Souls wiki open. All right, uh, there's that one area that I haven't done in. Uh. Undead settlement. We'll go do real quick. I don't think there's any. No. Well, don't really need. Uh, third spell slot right now. I mean, is there anything over there worth even getting? Uh, I don't know. Probably not, but we'll go over there real quick and see. It amazes me, you know, my first time playing this game, it took me weeks to get this far. <laughs> I don't know, weeks, but a lot longer than it is now. Uh, you have magic? I've been watching our stats in case we watch Lee. I do. I have healing magic, and I have, uh, so right now I have the Heal Spell, which you just saw me cast, and Caressing Tears, which uh, gets rid of negative uh, effects like bleeding or toxic or uh, poison. I don't have any offensive spells yet. There are offensive spells in these games there are faith I'm uh, going to be a faith build uh, intelligence magic intelligence is really where the offensive spells are uh, I'm based off of faith and mine's more defensive and buff spells although there are Offensive spells too, which I will 
One of them I'll definitely use, but it's way down the road. Um, uh, assaulting game retires as an ability. Well, yeah. Most powerful ability it seems, yes. <laughs> Caressing tears. <laughs> Please stop having me die of poison. <sighs> What's my my intelligence is crap, right? Yeah. I might put a few points of intelligence because I do want a couple of sorceries. Okay, well, I'm not sure this was at all worth coming down here. So if you come here before you beat the boss, this guy will actually, and you walk behind him, you can actually get into his cage, and he'll take you to the boss room, and you can join the covenant, the purple people covenant. I have no real interest in being a purple people. Let's see. I guess we can see if I can make it to there before that. If I rest or die, that ring will, it's a ring, will despawn. So let's see if I can and if I, without the spell, spook, without the spook spell, I will die falling from here. So let's see if we can make over there to get that ring, although it's not, if I don't make it, it's not the end of the world. It's a ring that gives you a little bit of fire protection, a little bit of protection from fire. A lot of that. Free your mind. Well, Morpheus, I'm sorry buddy, but gravity is real here. Think about Sith the Bonfire will disappear too, so we're going to not do that either. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Right? Everyone knows they fail the first time. Yeah. Gravity is probably the biggest, most difficult boss in any Souls game. Kill this doggo for, so it doesn't show up behind me. One at it. Oop. <laughs> wow. Murder bosses, no problem. Random dude with a pitchfork murders me. Pick up the ring. 
Oh, the other guy fell. That's great. Alright. <laughs> Erebus misses, enemy misses, both just stare at each other in disbelief. Right? That's the way it goes. Alright, let's go up. Nope. Uh, yes, it's going up, but I want to go down. started the stream off by saying I want to try to do something a little different with Dark Souls 3. Uh, shorter episodes. Because uh, on YouTube I got quite a few suggestions saying apparently people, not everyone on, everyone wants to watch a 5-6 hour video on YouTube. I don't know what, what's wrong with them. Uh, so I guess I'm going to end the stream here guys. I hate to do it with 7 of y'all here. I want to keep playing. Uh, I'm debating if I want to. You no, know, I think I'm going to end the stream. Uh, upload it as pieces, but if you do that without being able to. Uh, uh, yeah, they, I don't know how. I don't know how to do that though. That's the thing. I don't know. I know how. To, yeah, I know I can. There's a way I can just do it for 15 minutes, 15 minute episodes. But I don't know how to put in like, "Hi, welcome back," blah 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 blah, at the opening of the YouTube video. I don't know how to splice that in. So, yeah, there are programs for editing. Yeah, I contacted a buddy of mine today. I think Tuesday. We're going to get together and he's going to, he's got, he's doing YouTube uh, as well. He does it a lot less than I do. Uh, he does it once a, once a month because he does actually edit his videos and stuff. He's supposed to help me get the stuff and learn how to edit. And, or he's even actually said something about him editing it for me, which would be even uh, more awesome. Because I'm lazy. Uh, but yeah, I'm not, I don't know how to do that yet. The other thought I had was to uh, nerd it up. It's a program for editing, but there are a number of programs to choose from. Yeah. Another thing I thought about doing was just like end the stream and then just start a new stream. Uh, And that would give me, you know, an easy editing tool by <laughs> doing it that. Yeah. Alright, I'll do that. I will end the stream here. And I will be back out uh, and do a new opening. Exactly. Yeah. So, I wouldn't be the only one doing it. Awesome. Alright. Well, I will end the stream right here. Uh, if you're watching on uh, YouTube, hit the like and uh, subscribe button. If you haven't already hit the follow button here, I appreciate it if you would. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. I'll be right back with a new episode. Um, don't know if it'll be two and a half hours long. It might be though. We'll see how far we can. Guys that are here, if you don't mind, come right back. I don't even know if y'all have to do anything, but uh, it'll probably be a minute. I'll probably go to the little boys room and then I'll be right back. Alright, thanks guys, and pretty be careful.